Hello, this is Kendra. Welcome to my channel. Today we have a fun collaboration hop featuring Cat Scrappiness, one of the Kendra's Card Challenge 13 super sponsors. Our team will be sharing projects made with some of their amazing products using the Kendra's Card Challenge 13 sketches. And this is a giveaway hop, so stay tuned for details on how to enter and have a chance to win a prize. And here are the awesome products that I received from Cat Scrappiness to craft with today. These are from the latest Valentine release. I'll place the name of each product up on the screen. But there's enamel dots in different shades of reds and pinks. And this is the Kawaka Love stamp set that features this adorable Kawaka holding a heart, plus a total of 24 sentiments. 12 are larger, and then there are 12 that will fit perfectly inside the heart. Super cute for making some Valentine's Day cards. And there's also coordinating dies available that cut out everything, including the sentiments. And then there's the Kawaka Love paper pad, featuring a fun romantic color palette. It has 24 sheets with 12 patterns, four of each design, and it was designed with elements from the Kawaka Love stamp set. I love that there's all these patterns with hearts, but there's also dots, and you could use these for other occasions as well. And then next there are um, some embellishment mixes that I want to share with you. This one is called Twitter Pated Sprinkle Mix. And then this one is the Be Mine Sprinkles. And then Love Notes. And then this one is called Hugs and Kisses. All right, so let's get started. First, I'm stamping the Kawaka image onto some Express It blending cardstock using Memento Tuxedo Black ink since it's Copric marker friendly. And I'm using my Misty stamping platform. Since this is a brand new stamp set and I haven't used it before, it's not conditioned yet, so I'm just stamping it a few times just to make sure I get a good impression. And then I'm rotating the cardstock and flipping it over so that I can get four images on one half sheet of cardstock. Now, if you know me, I always stamp out multiple images so that I can have extra, but I did all of this off camera. And then next, I stamped several sheets of the sentiments, making sure to space them out enough so that I could use the coordinating dies. And then next, I cut out all of the images and sentiments using the coordinating dies and some uh, mint tape to hold them down. And then I started my coloring. Now I'm using Copic markers, and I'll place the colors that I used up on the screen as I use them. If you're not familiar with my quarterly card making challenges, it's where you can create 15 cards with six sheets of six inch by six inch coordinating pattern paper using the cutting guides and card sketches that are provided in a free PDF digital download. If you join the challenge and post your cards on social media, you can have a chance to win prizes valued at over $1,000 from 21 different company prize sponsors, cat scrappiness included. For more information about the challenge and how to download the free printable, I invite you to watch the Challenge 13 introduction video that I have linked above and in the description box below. In this video, I explain how to enter, how to cut the papers, and I give other useful tips and tricks that you'll want to know, especially if you're new to my challenges. As mentioned before, you can have a chance to win a giveaway prize from me, which is a digital download of your choice. But to enter, you'll just need to complete the form linked in the description box below. You'll need to do this by January 26th of 2024, and the winner will be randomly chosen and announced on my YouTube channel under the Community tab. So make sure you're a subscriber and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads and prize winner announcements. So I'll be sharing two cards with you today. For the first card, I'm using sketch number 13. So I selected this pattern paper with the red and blue hearts on the pink background, and I'm also using the white with brown dots for my back panel. And I'm using the red and slate blue coordinating color cardstocks for my layers. And I'll also be bringing in some pink heavyweight cardstock and I'll use that for my card bases. So I cut my layers according to the measurements on the card sketch. And for the circle piece, I'm using the Sweetheart Doily Craft Dies, also from Cat Scrappiness. I cut the scallop layer from blue and the top layer with the hearts um, from the red cardstock. But I'll have all of the products that I used today listed and they're um, linked down in the description box below in case you're interested in purchasing any of these products. Using my affiliate links helps to support my channel at no extra cost to you. 
So now that I have all of my papers cut and the pieces are laid out according to the sketch, I decided to stamp the sentiment I love you in the middle of the heart on my Kawaka image now that I have it colored. Now, I like to stamp my sentiments with VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink, especially if I'm using a stamping block. I typically don't have to stamp more than once if I use that. But I'm gluing all of the pieces down using some Nuvo Deluxe Liquid Adhesive and I'm using that in my favorite craft tool, my Precision Glue Press by My Sweet Petunia. I just love this thing. But I decided not to use any foam dimension this time since I'll be mailing these cards. But you'll see me adding some scraps just to keep things level as I glue things down. And then to finish off this card, I um, chose one of the pink enamel dots to add to the little um, rectangle section there and then to make the eyes and nose of the Kawaka shiny, I added some Nuvo Crystal Drops in Morning Dew. That dries um, clear, but it just gives some extra shine and some interest to the card. And this is my first card, number one. For my second card, I used Sketch 14 from Challenge 13, but instead of using pattern paper strips, I decided to use the rest of the panel piece from the paper that I used on my first card and I used solid colors for the strips on each of the edges. Um, I colored this one off camera and I decided to make him a little bit darker. I actually had to google what color kawakas are but I think this one's pretty close. But this card was really quick to make. You just have to make sure that you add those strips before you glue down your layers so that you can trim off the edges more easily. But I accidentally trimmed one of them off uneven so I had to peel it off and use the other scrap strip that I had. But I'm just gluing everything down. And then for this one I'm going to be using the Nuvo Crystal Drops again for the eyes and nose. But I'm also going to bring in some Stickles Glitter Glue to add to a few of the hearts. And for the sentiment, I used Hugs and Kisses, one that was cut out from the die. And I think this one turned out super cute also. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. I think they both turned out adorable. Again, don't forget to complete the form to enter the giveaway for this hop. And check out the other videos for more card making inspiration using Challenge 13 and products from Cat Scrappiness. I hope you'll join the challenge this quarter. You have until March 31st to get photos of cards uploaded to enter for a chance to win lots of prizes, including a $25 gift certificate to Cat Scrappiness. For more information, visit KendrasCardChallenges.com to get all of the details. I'd like to thank Cat Scrappiness for sending us these awesome products to create with and for being a prize super sponsor. This has been so much fun and I look forward to seeing all of the other team members' projects. I hope you'll check them out too. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.